So, I do have this, um, um, this thing I want to talk to you guys about. Because basically, years ago, back in 2008 to 2012, along there, around 2012 on my timelines, it was very close to going down the timelines that were not so pretty. Uh, much more death and destruction because I'd been living in fear for so very long. So I was able to fix that and get over on the other timelines. But during that period of time, I died in 2008, so I'd been um, status post dead for four years by 2012, figuring things out and all the information that I had. So when I looked around in 2012, I knew for sure that I was going on down the right side still at that time. The, what people classically call the bad guys, the Illuminati, the black hats, whatever you want to call them. Um, they were using the term New World Order. Now, at the same time, the good guys were also using uh, a very similar concept, that going back to oneness uh, with a New World Order. One New World Order was very much that uh, a handful of of entities would control all of humanity and everybody would be doing the same thing operating by the same rules but it would be ran by a handful of beings. The New Age New World Order was more we all come together and work together um, so that everybody is happy and everybody's got everything that they want. Of course I want the New Age version. So, in order to get there, what I was trying to do and did for years was try to take the New World Order that was kind of running things and have been for quite some time of the bad guys and change it vibrationally to go with the New World Order of the New Age people. This was a total bust. It did not work. Now, I tried that for years and years and years. So, basically, I kind of opened the whole thing up and, and uh, opened it up to... Uh, Gaia and the Sun and some folks on the other side that had a, a better standpoint and said, okay, how can we get away from this Illuminati New World Order over to what we are all wanting to do in 5D and outside the game? And basically what I was shown that everybody pretty much went back to their, their roots so, people were deported back to their home countries. Uh, people went back to their, to their home religions or their, their skin suits, lineage of, of, of religions. Everybody went back to where skin suits really were from. From that perspective, from Gaia up, it was fed to the, the skin suits and therefore the beings within the skin suits a vibration of of oneness that humans are all one so in the separateness they were kind of the new world order was kind of shoving everybody mixing everybody up in their skin suits but it kept everybody off balance so instead of feeling close to a new community or a new place a new country they would live in fear okay if you go to this country, then be careful. You go hang out with people, your your own kind, in this new place, because this new place will hurt you. I mean, slick move by the bad guys. Slick move. But we don't want to do that. So everybody went back, got their feet back under them again, and our, our all the skin suits are going back in one way or another to their lineage, and they're drawing from Gaia, and Gaia's saying, now look here. I'm sending the message. My message overrides the Illuminati if you will listen to it. I've got it here for you. Now I want you to see that you're tied to this planet, that all of humans are all connected. Humans are humans are humans are humans. No matter where they're from, no matter what color they are, no matter what religion they are, no matter what they do for a living, everything. Humans are all um, connected. That was from Gaia. Then Guy also sent the message that humans are connected with everything else on the planet, as everything is tied to her. Okay? So, basically, that's what I've seen, and in that there's this new strength, and as people go out from this place, now they go out and they interact with other humans on a much more even keel sort of interaction, not from fear. So... 
if you see peoples going back to their homelands or let's say they have to move back in with their parents or um, somebody gets deported or um, just whatever happens that you see people going back to some kind of skin suit lineage do not judge that as a bad thing because this is how the breaking up of the fear of humans to each other that's been created by the Illuminati is being um, flipped around on them and it's working beautifully then what people are doing is they're going back out of the world like I said before and they're interacting with humans uh, a lot of that has to do with the internet internet's really helping a lot with that and they're shaking hands or saying hi and they're seeing that we're all very much alike so we're taking the fear out of the game coming together again as human brothers and sisters all of us being humans all of us being uh, a part of Gaia so all of us a part of everything okay um, also in this way I saw the DNA testing that was coming out in the same vein and I saw oh great everybody's gonna go get DNA tested that's gonna separate people out again they're gonna start saying well I'm this or I'm that and I'm better than you or uh, I'm afraid of you because of in the DNA and I watched this show of of uh, I don't know, there were like 10 people, and they were kind of ambiguous racial features, so you couldn't really tell what they were. And they all had DNA testing. And then they talked about what the results were, and what the results were is exactly what I expected, that almost all humans are going to have a big, long list of what their DNA lineage really is, uh, because it's very mixed up at this point. Basically, we're all mutts at this point. And instead of it separating these people, it drew them together. That there was this um, unlikely connection of I had this and you had this. And I didn't think we had anything in common. But in reality, DNA-wise, we actually can trace us back to this little country over there. Cool. And there was communication that happened. So now I see that instead of that DNA used being used to... Uh, tear people apart and bring on more fear and more anger what can happen with this DNA testing is this understanding that we all are humans and bring us all together again so we want to head towards those timelines where those kind of things draw us together that bring humanity together with our strengths that if uh, this is what your strength it is fantastic or you, you really admire the strength in that person, but ultimately, we all are one. Uh, again, on these videos, I will be doing longer versions of these that I will um, copy and paste the link below these videos when I get them done so that if you want more assistance in these areas, you can click on those links. All right. Okay, that's it for this one. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs.